Uh, and at this time, I'd like to call the uh, committee, the oversight subcommittee, Chairman Swigert. Very kind. Thank you. Um, look, it's a lot of reading. You have several hundred pages on this added into what was put out a couple months ago. If you have the opportunity to start to work through it, you've got many different storylines you can all work on. But one that I find most concerning to me personally is we live in a country where we no longer believe in our institutions. You all see the polling, what we believe in the press, what we believe in those who are elected. Read through this and you'll start to understand that distrust may be quite justified. People are being treated very, very differently because they're part of the political aristocracy. <clears throat> um, if you're going to have a functioning representative democracy, the chairman's absolutely right. We need to do our work here. We need to bring sunshine into how differently people in this are being treated. And then maybe once we've exposed that, we can go back to starting to build some trust back in our institutions. But take this seriously, because this is more than just a story about family who's in the White House or who's in the White House itself. It's also how the police bureaucracy, the law enforcement bureaucracy, were willing to block, tackle, change the rules for certain people, something none of you would ever receive. 